First at six, surveying the damage. Violent weather, which came through this time last night, saw seven confirmed tornadoes. WND's Doug Wolf shows us some of the damage in Moroa and in Decatur. Wednesday morning, our drone shot storm damage along 22nd Street in Decatur. Most of that damage was to the old Playmore Lanes Bowling Alley, which has been closed since 2019. The heaviest damage was to the north in Moroa, where the tornado cut through this farm. A shed with farm equipment inside collapsed, a trailer and car were overturned, and two grain bins were blown off their foundations and landed in the southbound lanes of Route 51. IDOT was out cleaning up the debris. Several tornadoes came through our viewing area. Two of them in Macon County, one up in Ford County, one in Sangamon, Logan, and one in Christian County. I asked WAND meteorologist Anthony Peoples if it's unusual to see tornadoes in January. It is unusual because normally we start looking at cold air blast and winter weather, but it's not unheard of when you get that clash of very warm air, which we saw the record high temperatures on Tuesday in some spots, a cold front coming in, bringing in a different air mass. That clash can cause a tornado as long as you have the right conditions. In addition to the public, there were several people involved in getting information out when spotting the tornadoes. From uh, weather spotters and law enforcement and emergency management officers. A nearby neighborhood received minor damage to siding, roofing, and fencing materials. In Moroa, Doug Wolf, WAND News. Livestock on the farm in Moroa were not injured by the tornado. 